a station in Regal Park that does not have accessibility either by ramps or elevators. And this is something that has been such a priority for so many of our constituents. If you are in a wheelchair, if you have a stroller, if you are carrying luggage or groceries, or if you are just someone who uh, is tired and carrying a lot of things, it is virtually impossible for you to utilize stations that are set up like this one. In the borough of Queens, one of the most diverse counties in the entire country, only one third of our stations, 21 out of our 81 stations, are accessible. And this is something that we have been asking for for years, for decades. So many of our folks behind me have been literally asking for accessible stations for so many years. And the excuse and the response is that we don't have the money, we don't have the funds and the resources. But guess what? And you'll hear from a very special guest very soon who made it happen, who helped make it happen. I'm gonna take some credit too. We passed an infrastructure bill in Congress that cost $1.2 trillion and about $10 billion of that fund will go directly to the MTA here in the state of New York. So what we're doing today is to make sure that a portion of those funds go towards making our subway and LIRR stations here in New York City accessible for all commuters, all commuters.